Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our prayer at the end of the day. It's July 1st. Can you believe it? We are on the second half of the year 2020, and hopefully the second half of the year will be a lot better than the first. I'm Cantor Kurt Schmidt, and I serve at Zion Evangelical Lutheran Church in Deerfield Beach, Florida. But uh, tonight I'm joining you from our living room, and I'm here at the piano to lead us in Compline, which is one of the three daily prayer offices of the church. We have morning prayer, we have evening prayer, and we have prayer at the end of the day. And Compline comes from the same word, root word, as the word complete. So this is the prayer service that we, we use when our day is nearing completion. And we want to give God thanks for the day and hand it over to God. I'm so glad that you're here with me this evening. Uh, if you're joining in just now, I invite you to say hello in the comments and let us know that you're here, um, that we're praying together, that uh, wherever two or three are gathered in God's name, uh, Jesus promises to be among us. So even over these uh, internet, wireless internet networks, God is with us. And uh, delighted that uh, that we can be together tonight if you'd like to follow a bulletin for the service this evening it is available on our website which is zion-lutheran.org and on the home page there's a link to uh, worship bulletins and uh, there you'll see the bulletin for prayer at the end of the day our service remains the same for the season the only thing that changes every week is the uh, scripture and the hymn and uh, I include the hymn but not always the scripture uh, because I I let the spirit move in interesting ways so uh, if you'd like that to help you with our short prayer service uh, you're welcome to access that and uh, just want to wish a, a good evening to Irene and to Penny and to Nancy and to Laura and I don't know if the girls are still up but um, I'm glad that you're here, and for anybody else that joins, I'm glad that you're a part of this service tonight. As we always do, um, I want to begin with some deep breathing uh, that allows us to not only um, breathe out all of the stress and the anxiety of the day, but to breathe in the love and the grace of God. So we'll breathe out. and let all of that go and breathe in the grace and the peace and the love of God. You're welcome to continue that deep breathing as we join in our call to worship together. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, to herald your love in the morning, and your truth at the close of the day. We're going to join in singing, Be Not Afraid. I invite your participation in uh, the refrain, be not afraid, I go before you always, come follow me and I will give you rest. And I will sing the verses. <laughs> Across the barren desert, 
but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go If you pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flame, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell, and death is at your side. Know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Follow me, and I will give you rest. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me. And I will give you rest. I hope that those words and that melody allow you to enter even deeper into a place of, of peace, a place of rest. Uh, if you saw the post leading up to uh, tonight's service, you'll know that we had a very brief power outage in the neighborhood. Uh, in fact, our neighbor across the street is on. I don't know if her power went out as well. And uh, it went out and went right back on. And, and I thought, you know, this is very appropriate for what we're experiencing uh, in our country and in our world that... The storms are raging, and uh, the question then becomes, on whom do we lean? On what do we lean? In whom do we place our trust? And for us as people of faith, or even as, as seekers, we, uh, we look to God as, as the person in whom we can put our faith and our trust when the storms of life get to be too much. I uh, shared the quote, I think it was last week, it's my favorite and I'll keep probably sharing it, um, that Martin Luther um, wrote. He said, uh, I have held many things in my hands and I've lost them all, but whatever I've placed in God's hands, I still have. And I think that's an amazing thing to remember that when we, when we trust in God and when we lean on God, that, uh, that God's got it, whatever it is. So our scripture reading tonight is from 1 Peter chapter 5. And I'm going to start reading at verse 6. So 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. And this is what is written there. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time 
Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your adversary, the devil, prowls around looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters in all the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ will himself restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. And just think this is a wonderful verse, or set of verses, passage. Uh, a lot of people know the, the verse, uh, verse 7, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. But uh, this passage about the roaring lion and uh, looking for somebody to devour, that uh, there really is, I think, evil at work in the world in different ways. And we're called to stand firm in our faith and even though we all uh, have an experience of suffering that we share, that God will, will lift us up and that when we need to, we can lean on God. So uh, even before the storms and the bad weather today, uh, I had chosen this hymn tonight to sing. Um, and we're going to sing, What a Fellowship, What a Joy Divine. You might know it as Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. And rather than do it at breakneck Lutheran speed, we're going to slow it down just a little bit uh, and give it a little swing that it deserves so that it's uh, more in fitting with our mood this evening. So what a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms.
we're going to transition now into our focused time of prayer. Uh, we've been reflecting and singing, but now I want to invite you to find a comfortable position for prayer where you can close your eyes and concentrate if you wish, resume the deep breathing in and out as I share with you our canticle for Compline that will open our, our time of prayer this evening. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Eternal God, the hours of both day and night are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day, especially for the good we were permitted to give and to receive. The day is now past, and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night. We rest securely, for you are our help, and you neither slumber nor sleep. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Together we offer the blessing. Let us bless the Lord. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. I invite you to take a moment and if somebody's in the room with you to wish them peace with a handshake, a hug, a fist bump. If somebody's a text message away, send them peace or as always share peace here in the comments and know that our peace extends to you, that God's peace, which passes all understanding, extends to you today and in all your days. I want to thank you for being with me tonight for this prayer at the end of the day. It's, it's becoming a routine and really a favorite part of my week, and I hope it is for you. I know that there are a lot of people who manage to catch this either tomorrow night or the next night 
and of course you're welcome to revisit it. It will be on our Facebook page listed under our videos. It will be on our YouTube channel. It will be on our website. And I invite you to, uh, to share it with your Facebook friends and on your social media. That really helps not only to get the word out about Zion and what we're doing um, and how this might benefit somebody that you know in a very deep and spiritual way, um, but it gives them the opportunity to, uh, to come and see and, uh, and to join us for what I hope is a, a peaceful time. Uh, sometimes we don't always go into it at the 8 o'clock hour with um, peace and calm and tranquility, but I hope that when we leave this time that uh, peace and tranquility are, are more abundant um, than they otherwise would be. So we always have lots going on at Zion. Um, we have a good rhythm now of Sunday mornings at 11 uh, for our, our weekly service of the word. Um, Monday is at 9.59 in the morning. Pastor Potter offers a time of reflection, uh, usually from his backyard, so you see the green uh, lush and the trees and everything. And uh, if you're wondering, 9.59 is our street address at Zion, so that's where we came up with that time. Um, and as always, this time on Wednesday evenings is, is really special. Um, our youth meet on Fridays at 4 p.m. on Zoom, and we have a, a good core group that is really committed to um, Bible study, uh, if you can believe that. Uh, they really are fantastic uh, observers and reflectors on Bible passages, and uh, we've had some great discussions of late about contemporary issues and things that are going on. Uh, look forward to other opportunities coming up. If you are uh, a receiver of our email news, uh, I invite you to take a look at it. I sent it out this afternoon or early this evening. Uh, if you'd like to be a recipient of the email news, uh, send me a message on Facebook, give me your email address, um, or click on the link on our website and you can uh, register yourself to receive the weekly news and any other special updates that come up. Um, we want everybody to be safe and we want everybody to uh, make good choices. That was a big phrase in uh, when I was in college and seminary. So when you are out and about, if you are out and about, uh, be safe, make good choices, and uh, remember that, that we are in this together and uh, that God will see us through. So again, thank you for being with me tonight. Thank you for sharing in this time and for carving this holy time from your day, uh, busy or otherwise and I uh, wish you a peaceful rest and a peaceful rest of your week and look forward to when we can be together again. Have a wonderful night.